hello everyone welcome back so in this video what uh, we're gonna do uh we're gonna load uh, our data okay uh here if you see uh, this is the data actually i told you uh, we'll be using this data because this data is already up updated in the internet okay so we are not supposed to upload our own data okay so for, for that uh what i need to do i need to open my google collab so you just try to open up your google collab and try to connect okay and make sure you have selected this uh, runtime okay gpu so let me do it for me so basically in this video what uh, we are gonna do we are gonna like uh, load this uh, data okay uh, we are gonna uh, like uh, here we'll be cloning the data okay after that uh, i'll be doing some of the analysis okay on, on my data like i'll be visualizing my starting angle and i will see like uh, what is the issue here okay okay it's, it's done so first of all what i need to do uh, let's clone this uh, okay data so for that actually i have already written this code okay uh, i will just copy paste from my older notebook okay otherwise it may take lots of time okay but i will explain each and everything okay don't worry so first of all uh to clone this repository uh you need to run this command so here basically i'm doing git clone and i'm just giving this link okay if i uh come here just go back uh, from this image okay so just copy this link and just paste it here okay that's how you need to do now you just uh, need to run here so it will clone this uh, like data here okay it's done now if i refresh here so you'll be able to see this track is all uh, here okay now inside track actually you have uh, your image folder and uh, like driving log.csv okay inside driving log.csv you have all the information of your data okay and inside img you have all the images okay i think you already saw that now what i will do here uh, now uh, first of all let's load our data okay now let's see first of all let's like load this csv file okay for that i need to uh, import some of the libraries okay so let's import some of the libraries first of all so guys uh, these are the libraries that are needed okay here basically i have imported all the libraries okay so, uh, so here basically if you see numpy matplotlib tensorflow okay keras then i'm using convolutional 2d max pooling 2d okay i think if you're familiar with these uh like computer vision so i think you are already familiar with like what is convolution what is max pooling and all about okay here i'm expecting at least you know about like uh computer vision concepts okay then i'm also like uh, uh importing this uh, augmented and all about okay then trend trend split okay everything like i think you are already familiar with these are the packages okay now let's import okay once it is done now i need to load my uh, csv file okay for that uh, i will uh, run this code uh, and here okay now basically what uh, basically here what i'm doing is uh, here if you see what is my data directory okay my data directory is like uh, track okay so basically i am uh, like initializing my data directory which is nothing but track inside track i have my this driving log.csv okay here if you see okay so whenever i'm reading my data i'm just combining this path together okay and here i'm setting my column okay i already told you uh, there were some information of your data so if you open up your uh, logging.csv file okay it has some information here so basically uh, but the column name was not there okay it only has the data so here first of all i need to set the column name so that i can understand like what are the columns are there okay so i already showed you that first column is like your center uh, images okay then left images right images the starting angle throttle reverse and speed okay now that's actually i'm loading my data now let's load okay uh, so it's loading my data and like here it is also naming the column name but here one issue you can see but here one thing actually will notice uh, one issue is there like this path is not like visible okay entirely it's not visible so if you want to like uh, see that okay uh, like uh, entirely if you want to see that so you need to run one uh, so here actually you need to write uh, one line okay one line of code so so pandas has uh, like some of the like you can say settings so here i'm setting one uh, things like display dot max uh, column wide okay and here you need to provide just minus one now if i execute now you will see now here if you see this entire path is visible okay now i can like see the entire path okay so that's how actually you can uh, successfully load your data here now one issue you will see guys here uh, if you see this is the path of my data okay now if i open this image folder okay okay see th this is the path of my data okay it has saved but uh 
what I need, I just only need my image name because this path is not available, okay, inside my collab, okay. So I need to remove this this path, okay, this extra information, this extra path, okay. I will just only keep this image name, okay, like center this date and dot jpg, okay. So for that, I will write one function. So guys, uh, this is the function I have created. So the name of the function is like path leaf. So what it will do here, you just need to apply this function, okay. Uh, to every column like you want to remove this path so i will apply on my center left and right okay these three column i have this path okay now if i execute now guys if you see this uh, path has been removed okay this extra path has been removed now i only have my image name okay see i only have my image name okay i don't have any path okay now this issue i have solved okay now what i will do let's visualize all of the starting angle okay with respect to all of the image position okay now let's see the distribution like of the string angle like uh which value actually uh, like occurring more in in our data set okay so before like uh, starting your model training or before creating the model you, you need to first of all visualize your data like uh, to understand like what is your data is telling okay so it's like very much important so let's do it so here first of all i'll be defining the number of bins now this is the code uh, for visualizing my string angle okay now here i'm using uh if you see okay plt that means matplotlib okay i'm using matplotlib uh, then i'm plotting the bar bar plot okay now if i execute so guys uh, this is the distribution of our string angle but here one thing you will notice uh okay it will rely uh, from minus one to plus one okay we know because if you just go left okay your starting position would be starting angle would be minus if you go right it would be plus okay and in between you have zeros okay because why this zero is more occurring in my data because we drove our car okay at the middle position of our road okay that's why the zero data is like uh, occurring most in our data set because we drove our car okay at the middle position uh, of our road okay that's why but here if i pass this data okay for training the model so what will happen your model will get biased to the, to, uh, towards the zeros okay so it will be starting predicting zeros more okay every time because it has seen zeros data much so what i need to do uh, I need to like remove some of the zeros okay uh, from, from this distribution because I don't need uh, like that much that many of zeros okay so if we can make one threshold here okay and if we can check like uh, uh, okay how how much like zeros we can take here okay so for that what I will do so here I will uh, mention one uh, variable called number of uh, like samples per bins okay I am just defining it uh, 400 now here I will just uh, draw one line Okay, so this is the code. Now, if I execute, now guys, it will uh, draw one line here. Okay, so here, first of all, what I will do, uh, okay, uh, here in the next video itself, I will just remove these are the zeros. Okay, if you see till this point, that means 400 something. Okay, I will keep the zero. And after that, what the zeros are there, okay, I will be removing everything. So basically, here I need to balance my data. Okay, so for that, I need to remove some of the zeros. Okay. So that's why I have uh, like defined one threshold. Okay. So after the threshold, what are the zeros are there? I will be removing all the zeros. Okay. Now, if you want to check uh, your data set uh, shape, so it is also possible. So this is the code you just need to run. So guys here, if you see, uh, this is your uh, data length. Okay. So you have seven, uh, uh, you can say uh, columns. Okay. And you have uh, like uh, 4,053 rows. Okay. In this data set. So here's case, I think uh, you all have understood like how to load the data and what is the issue actually we have here. We have like more zeros in our data set. So in the next video, what I will do, I will balance the data set. Okay, I will uh, remove like extra zeros from my okay, distribution. So yes, guys, uh, this was all about from this video. I hope you liked it. Okay, uh, just try to subscribe to my channel and try to like this video. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time.